So we're going to use this table to try to figure out the rate law. We'll go through that together. We're going to be relying on our calculators here. OK. Um, so these take a long time unless we use our calculators to Can you guys use calculators on the test? Yes. Oh, you can't use these? No. They're like the little ones without the yeah, OK. Well, I was going to show you how to do these quickly on your calculator, but maybe there's no point if you don't get to use that well, calculator during the test. You need so. to actually be able to graph on my calculator. Right. That would be great, because that would help with that homework at least. Oh, yeah. OK. All right. If you know how to do it on your calculator, it's pretty obvious how to do it without it. It just takes a lot longer. OK. okay. And that'll let's get through this faster anyway. OK. Um, hit stat. And then choose edit. And we should have a whole bunch of lists. OK. Um, so, whoa, that didn't work. I'm trying to hit stat again. What did you hit? Oh, I'm sorry, not stat plot, but the stat key. Oh, OK. Sorry. Oh, gosh. How do I get ahead of this? Just hit stat. There we go. And now choose edit. Okay. Excellent. That's what we're looking for. Uh, OK. And we should be here in list one. And what we're going to put in list one is our times. Okay. So we're going to enter the times from uh, the table. So those would be these times over here. Let's put those in. 0, 50, 100. Sorry. So you hit 0. Uh -huh. Oh, then enter. Okay, and then 50, then enter. There you go. Two hundred, then three hundred, then four hundred. Okay, so we should now be in uh, number seven. We didn't skip anything. Okay, good. So list one has our times. Now we're going to go over to list two, and we're going to put the concentrations. What's the species that we're using here? N two O five. So. These will be our N205 concentrations. Do we just arrow over to the next one? Or yeah, hit the right arrow, and there you are. Cool. Take your time and make sure you get the numbers correct. So make sure you've got the right numbers, or otherwise our other work will be in vain. OK. So what is the vertical variable that we're going to use to check whether we have a zero with order? OK. Or the rate law? What's the vertical variable that we'll use if we want to check if something is zero with order? Oh, we lost our table because we have to change our page here. Here's our table. So in order to, uh, the vertical variable for a zero with order is just the concentration of A. Oh, okay. okay. All right, now what's the vertical variable we would use to check if something was first order? Um, the log slash logarithm. Yeah. yeah, the table says that for first orders, we'd want to use the natural log of A as our vertical variable. So now we have to move over to list three. And in list three, we're going to calculate all the natural logs. All right, so first you hit right arrow to get to list three, and we'll do this together. Um, okay, now, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead and uh, delete those. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to do in one swoop to calculate all of these. So you need to go up to list three itself. So hit up arrow once. And notice how now it's highlighted list three. And down below, we get to define list three. 
Well, hit the natural log key. Fit. Now, who, which list do we want to take the natural log of? List one or list two? List two. Well, you can see the lists are down here over the number keys, and you need to use the second key to access that. So we want to hit second and then list two. All right, and then we can finish off the natural log. Sounds like we're in good shape, so we can hit enter. All right, and in one fell swoop, because we did that definition while this was highlighted, it did the whole list for us. So this is how this saves us a lot of time, so we don't have to calculate every single one. It sounds like on the test, you'll have to do that. You'll have to calculate every single one. But that would take too long for us to get through the tutoring session that way. Okay, um, so this figured out all of those natural logs for us. Um, let me make sure I've got the same numbers that you do, negative 2.303, excellent. Now we need to move on to list four. We're gonna use list four to check whether this is second order. Well, what vertical variable would we plot for a second order equation? Yeah, and here the concentration is N2O5. This is the vertical variable here. So now we need to define list four, so it'll do that for us. So we just go to the right? Go one step to the right. And then back up. Yeah, and before you put in the formula, you gotta highlight list four at the very top. Looks like you're in good shape. Good. All right, now, um, what do we want this to be? It's one divided by something else. So start by hitting one. And divide it. Now, which list do we need to put into the division? What list one, two, or three? Um, list two. Yeah, this is why it's so important on your piece of paper to be labeling what each list stands for, otherwise you're going to forget. We labeled that list two is the concentration of starting material. Well, that's what we want. We want one divided by the concentration of starting material. So on your piece of paper, you've got to keep track of what the lists stand for. Um, so we need to get one over list two. So you saw how to do that by hitting second list two. And now you're all set. So you can just hit enter. And again, it calculates all those numbers that we need. Excellent. Uh, okay, good. All right, so now we have all the information that we're going to need. Because what are we going to plot as the horizontal variable? Well, we already got that. All right, are we all on the same page? All right, now we need to um, do a stat plot. So now we go to stat plot, and that's also a second. That's in your top left button over there. Yeah, hit second and then stat plot. All right, and we'll choose plot one. So let's just choose plot one. Yeah. Good. Now the key thing here is we have to tell it what we're going to use as our x and our y variables. Um, so you can use the down arrow key to get to x list. Down arrow. Now what do we want to use as our x variable? We're going to check first if this is zeroth order. So what would be our x variable if it was zeroth order? Yeah, time, which is list one, which I think is the default. They've already got that. So now we can down arrow once again and do the y variable, which is the vertical variable. Check if this is zeroth order, what do we want the y variable to be? Which list? Checking yeah. whether it's zero with yeah. order. So the vertical variable is supposed to be the concentration of the starting material, which we put in list two. And that might also be the default. Do you have list two in there already? Or yeah, it looks that. All right. And everything else we should try. Uh, so it looks on your calculator, you'll have to change that into list two. Just go over it and hit list two. Good. And try not to change any of the other settings. Uh, but if any of the other settings did change, you probably want to put them back to where you started. So we want to choose this graph over here, the first type. So we already got the first type, so let's oh. not fiddle with that. And we might as well choose the first type of mark. So we don't need to choose anything there. We should okay. just not change that. OK. Oh, and we want to use this, so we want to click on here. So you have to go up to the on or off and choose the on option. So hit enter. All right, because this is the one that we want to work. OK, very good. Um, why don't we go back to uh, stat plot for a second and make sure the other plots are off. So hit second stat plot. All the other ones should be off. Yeah, so number two and three are off. Good, so we're going to need to plot number one. All right, one more step. So that was second and stat plot. Now we have to hit the zoom key and choose zoom stat. That's on the top row, very top row. Oh. And 
And then we have to keep scrolling down until we find zoom stat. It's going to be on the next page. So that's the ninth option. OK, then we choose that. All right, and there we have our graph. OK, very good. All right, that's how you graph things on the calculator. So how do you graph things on the calculator? You hit stat edit to set up your lists. Then you hit second stat plot to tell it which list to put in the graph. And then you hit zoom, zoom stat to draw the graph. Those are the three steps. So keep practicing that. So what did we decide? Is this a zeroth order reaction? No. No, how can you tell? It's not linear. Yeah, it's not a line, it's a curve. All right, so this is not a zeroth order reaction. So now we have to check if it's a first order reaction. 